Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video I will be reviewing the Man at Arms Winged Spear by Cold Steel. I will be reviewing this spear by following 6 points. I will start with an overview, then the specifications, materials, form and finish, purpose and performance and a final conclusion. The Cold Steel Man at Arms Winged Spear is made in India and sells for about 100 euros. But due to low stocks at Cold Steel, I had to wait over a year to finally get this spear. I bought a shovel handle separately at my local hardware store and I cut it to size for a snug fit. I then secured the head to the handle with two screws. As a finishing touch, I added paracord for extra grip. The length of the spear head is 24 inches. The width at the widest point is 4 inches and that is at the wings. I did not measure the thickness but as you can see it is pretty thick. It is also worth noticing that this spear head only weighs over 2 pounds. This spear is made out of 1055 carbon steel that is finally finished with a gunmetal bluing. You have to keep this spear clean and oiled to prevent rusting. The balance point of the spear is far forward and that is obviously because the spear head is very heavy. The form of this spear I think looks very good. It is made very heavy but that does mean it can take a beating. I do have some complaints about the finish. The edge of this spear looked like this. The bevels were not meeting up. The edge actually should look like this. I finally had this fixed by a knife maker. The inside of the socket of this spear was very dirty. As Cold Steel says it, this spear is made for the battlefield. I can also imagine this spear can be used for hunting. More specifically that means thrusting, cutting and throwing. I will be going over these three points separately. This spear can also be used as a very cool wall hanger. Ok guys, it's time for the fun part. We start out with cutting. I have some experience with cutting competitions, but obviously that is with a knife and not with a spear. Cutting water filled bottles, this spear didn't perform very impressive. The spear's edge just won't get sharp enough. Cutting branches, this spear performed better. After a bit of practice, I was able to cut a 1.5 inch branch in one blow. On to the thrusting. You can thrust very well with this spear and it is obviously made for this task. I had the most fun throwing this spear. As you might notice, I am not trained to throw a spear, so anyone should be able to do this. After a bit of practice, I was comfortable to throw this spear from about 15 to 20 feet away. I was amazed by the penetration. The spear would easily penetrate the archery target. I think this penetration is thanks to the spear's weight. You could almost drop this spear from a tree and kill a wild boar.
You thought I didn't miss? Well, I sure did. Every time the spear hits the ground, it sounds like a shovel was put into the ground. Aside from a few scratches, there was no damage. It was a matter of wiping the dirt off and continue throwing. Throwing and missing really show that this spear is not likely to break. My conclusion is that even though I have some complaints about the finish, this is a very good product. You get what you pay for. This spear looks great as a wall hanger but can also be used and is not likely to break. I give this spear a 7.5 out of 10. I hope you liked that. If you liked it make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you didn't already and I'll see you next time.